Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am filming a day in the life today and I'm currently half asleep <laughs> because for the first time in a while I actually had to set an alarm because Carter has a dentist appointment this morning and he doesn't know, he's not going to be happy but I just tried to wake him up. Let's see if he's actually up. You are just as hard to wake up as your dad is sometimes. Good morning. <laughs> Do you want to say good morning? Good morning. You okay? Mm -hmm. How was your sleeps? Good. Yeah? Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. What do you want to eat, babe? Want some cereal? Mm -hmm. What do you want to eat? Bacon. And some eggs and bacon. Okay, I'll make you breakfast, babe, okay? All right. I love you. I love you too. We gotta go somewhere today, and then when you come home, you can play all your toys, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so we are back from Carter's dentist appointment. I'm going to insert like a little nine second clip that I took at the dentist's office of him there because I wasn't allowed to record in there. You don't have to be scared, Carter. But they brush it super clean. We actually found a really good dentist where we live because his old dentist kind of just like brought him into the room, had him sit down on tray, Carter would scream and cry and throw a tantrum and she would just clean his teeth while he was screaming and that was that. This dentist actually took the time to sit down she gave him a little stuffed alligator thing and a giant brush and let Carter do like the brushing and everything to little alligator before she did it on him. So he was very calm this time. He was actually a really good boy. I'm very, very proud of him. Only screaming at the beginning, but she calmed him down, which really, really helped. So I don't think he's as afraid of the dentist now. He actually kind of liked it. He got to pick out a toy afterwards and he chose a frozen puzzle. So he actually had a really good time. So after we came back from the dentist, I just had a quick little Zoom meeting with my supervisor because thank God I'm working from home now. I have like an at-home job now. So I don't have to go out into the world with this pandemic going on and being all pregnant and everything. So that's worked out really, really well. And yeah, I've just had like a lot of training and stuff for it and I think I'm going to like start doing more hours very soon, which is really nice. This video that you guys are watching is going up Wednesday and then my video for Sunday will be a video all about my goals for 2021 and manifestation and planning and then just how, like how I'm gonna get my life together because I'm also gonna have a new baby this year. So organization and planning is key i got a really cute new planner from target i want to show you guys so how cute is this planner that i got from target i got it online i'll put up the link for it down below if they still have it and this is what the inside it looks like i love the little i didn't write that it like came with the months written like that which is so cute and it has like a place for contacts in the front and then it has the month and then it just it's a simple calendar it just goes day by day for you to pretty much put what you're doing for the day which i have never been a huge oh and by the way these sharpie gel pens are amazing they're so good for planners they write like gel and they're nice and thick but the thing that i like about it is that it doesn't bleed through the paper and it doesn't smear you know how like sometimes you put your hand over something you just write and it smears yeah it doesn't do that which is really nice so yeah i'm gonna go more into depth about how i've been using my planner and 
how I'm staying organized now with everything I have going on in that, that video on Sunday. So yeah, right now I think I'm just going to clean up the house a little bit, just organize slightly, not really like clean, but put stuff away. And that is honestly the key to having a clean, nice house all the time is spending like 10 to 15 minutes every single day just going through the house, putting stuff where, back where it belongs and just cleaning up a little bit because then it'll never pile up into a big mess that you need to spend hours and hours and hours cleaning like once a week or twice a week or you know, whatever days. So we had a little birthday party for Carter on Sunday. First, my family, like our immediate family, just came over to sing him happy birthday. And then a few of our friends stopped by to sing him happy birthday and drop off some gifts. Come open your birthday surprises. You have birthday surprises. <laughs> you got two from mommy and from dada. Trust me, you got a lot more coming. It's Ryan's World Vending Surprise? Yeah! Yeah! Do you like it? Uh -huh. I like it! Good! Hey. Hey, man, what's this? Yeah, that one he's not really gonna know until we turn it on for him. <laughs> I like the fake excitement. <laughs> I appreciate it. You don't know what it is? Give it to Dada. He'll turn it on for you. He's going to show you what it is, okay? You're going to be so excited. It's a video game. You got a Game Boy. So you can play video games. Um, Carter got a haircut for his birthday. Looking so handsome. So old. He was so silly. I literally cried last night because he's getting older. <laughs> no. Let me see your super big boy haircut. Let me see, come here. Why are you running away? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> It's your birthday party! It's a birthday party for Carter! <laughs> I just ride my bike a lot! You ride you your bike a lot? A lot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, you got presents! It's your birthday party! Grandma, you just don't eat those three balloons! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the magic wand! Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Cheese. Stand up straight, cheese. Look over here, Carter. Carter. There we go. Okay. You got a Mario castle. Whoa. You might need to open it to tell him what for him to see what it is. He goes, it's a box? Yeah, he goes, it's a box? It's a vacuum. Carter got his own little vacuum. So you can help mommy clean. He loves to vacuum. He put it on. <laughs> I know that I know that that would like that. Whoa! You have your own little vacuum. We have to put battery, battery, Uncle Teddy battery. He loves to vacuum. He knows how to vacuum. Hey! Oh, look at that. Wow! Crazy. Look at that, man. Alright, so you got my sense? Whoa, you look like Batman. Batman. 
Oh, that's too big. Just big one, Grandpa. That's too big. Let's take a picture of that one. Let's take a picture of Batman. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Carter confiscated all the balloons to put in his room, right, babe? I think you need to do some cleaning today, too, before you go to bed, okay? Is morning time? It's afternoon time. What's after afternoon? After afternoon is evening time. And then it's nighttime. Right now, he's eating a snack and watching TV, so he... It's not paying attention to me at all. Here is my belly today. This is my outfit <laughs> I'm wearing only because I had a Zoom meeting. Honestly, if, I was, if I'm not filming or having like a Zoom meeting for work or something like that, I'm usually just in underwear because that's like the most comfortable thing. But as you can see, this tank top is barely fitting me anymore. And oh, she's moving around right now. She's saying hi, guys. But yeah, this is like my outfit and I have shorts on for the sole purpose of the zoom if i got out of my chair or anything <laughs> this cardigan is so comfy it's from boohoo i'll try to find the link for it and put it down below if you guys are interested and yeah i mean we're not really doing anything that special today but that is the reality of our day i didn't get to show you guys breakfast because we were rushing to leave on time to the dentist but carter just wanted egg and turkey bacon and then he has his vitamins every morning and then i just had a turkey bacon egg and cheddar sandwich that's like what i eat almost every morning to be honest and i've really been liking this bread lately it's this pepperidge farm light seven grain bread it's only 45 calories per slice which i'm not like crazy counting calories or anything right now that i'm pregnant but I did just find that I like it and this was the only like grainy type of bread that Carter will eat because he doesn't really notice the grains that much. So that's probably what I'm going to be eating postpartum as well as like one slice with like turkey bacon and egg on it for the morning time when I'm trying to lose weight after a baby but there's time for all that. Right now I am enjoying food as much as possible but also trying to stay healthy so I don't over gain um, during the pregnancy. I want to gain pretty healthy amount I believe my doctor said like I should be gaining anywhere from like 15 to 25 pounds like for my BMI throughout the entire pregnancy so so far I am 25 weeks tomorrow and I've gained 14 pounds so I'm pretty much on track to a healthy weight gain during pregnancy and I want to keep it that way and I'm actually surprised I haven't gained more because for a while there, I was very addicted to making chocolate chip cookies every single night. I would have like one or two every single day. I wouldn't eat like a whole bunch, but I know that definitely can't be good for you. So lately I've just been trying to just clean up my diet in general, just like, you know, not just for like weight purposes or anything like that, just to feel better overall. Um, now I kind of have a lot more to do than I did the past few months, so I'm trying to just regain my energy and I'm at the stage of pregnancy now where the energy is just sucked out of my soul so I need to replenish it with some good healthy food. Are you doing your homework? So since Carter's not in school just yet, I wanted to put him in like a pre-pre-k program this year. Um, well, technically starting last year when he was three but because of the pandemic I couldn't really find anything for him to go in person. The only things that I could find were like $1,500 a month or like something crazy. So I just decided because I'm home to kind of just do schooling with him every day for a few hours and just have him learn at home. And grandma, I mean, Santa actually got him this for Christmas. It's like a little etch-a-sketch kind of thing, but and he kind of just draws on it sometimes, but when we sit down and learn, he can press the different numbers in uppercase and lowercase, and it'll teach him how to draw, and then it'll teach him how to draw his name and everything. So this is really cool. Do you like it, babe? Mm. Do you like it? And it, and it teach me how to draw and play. It teaches you how to draw and play? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Then, then. Okay, you're gonna learn a cue. Okay, you make a circle. And make a line. 
And then you make a line. Finally, slant down like this. He got it. I got to slant down. Good job. You're doing well. Follow him. Yes. I got super hungry. It's almost 5 p.m. So I just made myself a little like Mommy, chicken cutlet quesadilla thing one. with some taco the sauce. Oh, okay. And Carter's over here playing. I have the Switch connected to the TV and he's just playing those like free games that you get in the Nintendo shop right now. What are you playing, babe? I'm gonna be blue. What are you playing? What game are you playing? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a racing game? I don't even know. He has Mario Kart, so I don't know why he wants to play this right now, but it's fun. Is anyone else super obsessed with Grey's Anatomy? I'm actually all caught up in the series, like what's on TV right now, but I'm re-watching it, and I started re-watching it maybe two or three weeks ago, and I'm already on season five, episode three. I've been watching it like any free chance that I get. I don't know, I'm just like obsessed all over again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I keep crashing. You keep crashing? Mm -hmm. uh, I lost. It's okay, baby. Just but try again. I can't try again. Why not? But I want you to help me, and I can't do it. You can do it. You just gotta keep trying, babe. I can't. Yes, you can. This kid is always stealing my phone when we watch TikToks. <laughs> Oh, you're sharing? <laughs> okay, so Carter had dropped yogurt all over the couch here. So now I'm just trying to pick it up. I don't know how well this is going to work, but I'm using this Woolite carpet and upholstery stain lift technology thing to remove and lift stains, dirts, and odors. I don't know if it actually works, to be honest. I don't know if that's actually gonna come out, but I really don't care because this is a super old couch anyway. We actually got it when we lived in our last apartment from Facebook Marketplace for literally like, I think it was like 60 or $70 for this whole couch. And we only got it because ours was breaking and we needed just something new. And at the time we weren't going to buy like a brand new one because we were about to move from that apartment, so we were like, okay, we'll just get a new couch when we move. And then we moved into our new apartment, and we decided to get some other furniture first, like our bed and our mattress and things like that. And then by the time we were gonna get the couch, we had already decided that we were only gonna stay in the apartment that we're currently in for the remaining of the lease, um, because we wanted to move again <laughs> to just find like a better apartment for us, um, just because we used to have a lot of amenities at our old one and like we're used to having like washer dryer and parking and things like that and we don't Mommy. now um and especially because we will have a newborn that at least washer and dryer is something that we really 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 want so we kind of just decided whatever we'll keep this couch for the rest of the year and then once we move again <laughs> hopefully we stay there for a while and then we will get a new couch sent straight to the new house I'm sorry if this vlog is a little boring, but this is just an actual day in our lives, quarantine edition. I mean, we did go out to the dentist today, but we don't go out much. We really don't. So this is typically in a day what we do. I mean, some days it differs, but some days it's just like this. Right now I'm hiding in the kitchen while Carter plays on Trey Switch because I'm eating some of his leftover ice cream birthday cake from Carvel, and I don't want him seeing it because then he's gonna want some too. And because he has like the fluoride stuff from the dentist this morning, I don't want him having anything like too sugary or like chocolatey today because the dentist said don't brush his teeth tonight, just wait until the morning. So I just have been having him eat as clean as possible today, but I was craving some of this um, and I had it mm. I'm not a cake person I'm not a sweets person not even really an ice cream person I'm just like I don't have a sweet tooth neither does Trey we like rarely ever have sweets in the house we're not like sugary people but this cake is always fire though like twice a year we'll have it 
always good. Oh my god, I forgot I had a Sephora package downstairs. I think it's gonna be for me or for you? I think it's for me. I think it's for me. Do you think it's for you? Hmm? You think it's for you? Hmm? Okay, come on. Check Let's get it. We gotta see if it's mine. No, well, we gotta see if it's mine. I already know it's mine, babe. It says Sephora on the box. It That's the makeup it, store. It says Sephora? Sephora. It says Sephora. Oh, I yeah, I got it wrong. It's makeup for mommy. It's makeup for mommy. No. So, I just had placed an order on Sephora no. last week. No. <laughs> You'll be at. I placed an order on Sephora last week because I had a gift card. So I got the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. So I got like just the mini size to try. And I know the mini sizes are actually like a rip off because the amount that you get in the mini sizes compared to the full sizes and like the price difference, I know it's not worth it, I know that. But I wanted to get a few like little mini things to try so I just got like this little one. And I'm just running out of my Glow Recipe setting spray. So this one's supposed to be super hydrating. I see like the oil in it. Like, I don't know if you could see, but it's like separated kind of on the top. So then you shake it. And I have like very, very light makeup from earlier. So I'm going to spray it on my face just for a refresh. Ooh, okay. Initial reaction. It's a very like hard spray the glow recipe that i have it's like a very light like mist it's like frolicking in like the misty woods this one's like bam tsunami okay um that's not bad though it's not a bad thing i feel like it's alcohol free which is very good pretty hydrating do i look glowy looks like it's super glowy i like i don't even have foundation on today i just have a very light like smashbox tinted moisturizer thingy that's pretty much all worn off at this point because i was just laying on the couch for a long time this was on sale so i got it this is a mark jacobs lip gloss and i've been really really into these like brownish kind of colors lately this one's like a sparkly brown. Let's see. Like that. Like that. And I got a mini size of the Bobbi Brown highlighting powder. Mommy. Yes, babe. But I can't have more. I can't have a lot of toys. Because... What do you mean a little bit of toys? You have more toys than a lot of kids that I know. Remember I told you the word grateful yesterday? Mm -hmm. What does grateful mean? I don't know. It means you're happy with what you have, right? Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of toys. And you have a lot of love in your life. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of kids out there who don't have that. Mm -hmm. So you need to be grateful, right? I'm grateful. I don't know. You tell me. Are you grateful? Yeah. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, if you're grateful, then you don't come in here saying you don't have enough toys. Right? Because the second you're ungrateful, I'll give you something to be ungrateful for. So this is the highlight. It's really pretty. Let's swatch it. Don't mind my nails. I need to get them done. Mommy. Mommy, I want to feel like that. I want to feel that. I don't feel that, mommy. Definitely has like a shimmer. Excuse me, mommy. To it, but mommy. it looks like it's gonna be nice. Mommy, I don't feel for, like. For like under the bra, <laughs> under the brow, and right above the cheekbone. And I'm gonna do like, Excuse like a ten me, minute mommy, mommy makeup look very soon. Me, so mommy, I'll include it. these products. I don't feel it. Okay, just one finger with your nasty hands. Okay. It's so pretty. So pretty, right? Um, I see yeah, you wanna, um, put, you wanna put on mommy's eye? Okay. I'm gonna put on mommy's cheek. Okay. And then they just included two samples, mommy. like Sephora usually does. Mommy. So this is a sample size of the perfume. Oh, this is like a bigger sample than what I normally get, I feel like. 
This is, I don't know how you say this correctly, Nomade, Nomad, something by the brand Chloe. I love getting testers of perfumes because, ooh, this smells really good. Smell this bubbly gauge. You like this? Does it smell, smell my wrist. He's like, what am I smelling? <laughs> Does it smell good? Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I have a sample of the Banana Bright Eye Cream, which I will be happy to use, although I'm not like a big person on eye cream. I feel like I've learned through research throughout the years, and I could be wrong, everybody has their own opinion on this, but I probably wouldn't invest my own money in an eye cream anymore. I used to, and I love them. I'm not saying they're bad. However, just from my own personal research, I've kind of come to the conclusion that if you have really, really good face products that use on the rest of your face that are very hydrating and you know you intake enough collagen and things like that you don't really need eye cream i feel like with the serums the moisturizer the oils that i use that i really really invest in that i really love to use and i use them around my eye it does the same thing that an eye cream is going to do it has all the same ingredients very very i use very very hydrating very um like anti-aging things on my skin so i feel like I don't, I'd rather invest my money in nicer other products than on an eye cream, but that's just me, so. Okay, this is the lip with a little bit more light. And it's cute, we like, we like. I'm so lazy today, guys. I'm not making a fancy dinner or anything like that. You know what we're eating for dinner tonight? Bam, my girl Annie's coming in clutch. Okay, the belly's coming out. Can you see me? Brian got all that mac and cheese for himself, so yes, I'm gonna make mommy. another lazy meal. Yes. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. I said Carter. I said Carter. I was talking to YouTube. I was talking to guys on the camera. I was telling them how you wanted all the mac and cheese. I'm gonna make myself a super lazy dinner and I'm just going to air fry these Purdue organic chicken breasts and these are like the best ones these specific ones these lightly breaded chicken breast strips the organic ones I've tried like a bunch of other ones they have like a gluten free like whole wheat breaded one which is also pretty good like that one's number two but this one's definitely number one and the air fryer mm, perfection perfection and then I just got these random fries from my supermarket. They have like their house cut fries with sea salt. And ever since we got this like ninja air fryer slash indoor grill, I cannot have like chicken tenders and fries in like a regular toaster oven or oven anymore because they're just so like incredibly crispy when you put them in the air fryer guys this thing has been a game changer so if you're wondering it's this thing i'll link it in my amazon store that will be in the description down below it's an air fryer and an indoor grill trey literally cooked an entire chicken in here the other day and it was quick and it was delicious the outside was super crispy and the inside was so juicy it was perfection there's so many things that you can make in here and a lot of them will be in my future vlogs because we have a whole list of things that we want to make in here but for today we're sticking with the basics with these chicken tenders the thing that i like about this is i never know like what temperature and stuff things should be so you can open it even when it's like not done and it doesn't have like steam so it's not gonna like blurt out like heat at you so you can kind of just like check it and see when it's done and it's super easy to use so i just have the chicken fingers and fries in there you press the on button you press which one you want it does like air crisp dehydrate roast and bake like i said trey roasted an entire chicken in there the other day fire Okay, so we're gonna do air crisp. Uh, I don't know if I really need to change the temperature or whatever. And why not, we'll do 20 minutes. We'll check and see if it's done before that. So you can like change the time right here. This is for the temperature. And 20, and you just press start. And it starts air frying. How cool. Such crispy deliciousness. It honestly only took like 10 minutes. Um. 
cutter. Thanks. If you take that apart, Dad is not going to put it back together for you, babe. It took him like an hour. I'm going to eat it with this Trader Joe's Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce. It's so good. Mm, this is my dinner for tonight. You're so sweet. When I get bigger than Dad, I'm going to be a grown-up. Yep. Okay, let's stop jumping over the balloons. No, 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 show mommy, show mommy crazy. <laughs> okay, crazy, come here. It's bedtime. <laughs> All right, come here, let's end the vlog, come here. Okay. So, this is where we are ending our vlog for today. You right? Yeah. All right, so please subscribe if you if you liked this video please subscribe if yeah. you are not subscribed already and yeah. give us a nice thumbs up and comment down below right mm -hmm. <laughs> and we'll see you guys on sunday and for then, a new video a new video and there's gonna be a balloon video a balloon video i don't think it's yeah. gonna be a balloon video but Bye. you never know well, I'm gonna <laughs> A balloon for a balloon video. Okay. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.